the gateway chipping in with now having Clayton as a ornaments and stickers was amazing. The whole thing was great. Also want to thank all the city employees. You know, they were challenged with a couple hurricanes this year. I think we responded immediately to everybody's needs, which was amazing. We got very few complaints after both hurricanes, very, very little flooding, which was great. Um, basically, I just want to wish, thank everyone on the council for focusing on the city and its residents. Uh, somehow, some way, we put our minds to things, we get it done. I think we're laser focused on it. I, I, I'm just so happy. You can remove me from the equation. You guys are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Seriously. Thank you guys. Thank you. I really do. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And that's it. Councilmember Pepilardo, anything to report? I finally got to visit the Alexander Island property and all I can say is it's simply amazing. We really, I think we're doing the right thing and I'm excited about that. Everyone should be excited about that. Um, and likewise, extending a great appreciation to the Parks Department. I think it's one of the most comprehens comprehensive seasons of holiday events in Central Florida. It's extremely impressive. Um, my wife and I took our son, our one-year-old son to the light walk and he loved it. Like, it, it public like, light walks like that just don't exist anymore. And it, it was so, so refreshing to be able to be out there. The, the season's so nice right now to be outside, especially when it, the, it's dusk. And we had, we had such a great time. So great thank you to city staff. Great job. Um, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Council Member Stevenson. I'll briefly echo the same thanks to our city staff and all the time and effort they put in. Uh, for our community. I know it means a lot to everybody. And happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Thank you. Uh, Vice Mayor Butlin. Yes, Mayor. It's been busy two weeks since we've met last. Um, I had my annual, my monthly board meeting with Team Volusia. I also attended the Volusia League of Cities dinner and got sworn in there as one of their directors, so I was happy about that. I also attended the Duke Energy Pipeline Safety Meeting which was held right here, and that was very interesting. It's always interesting every year to hear about that. The parade was awesome. I love the Corvettes. I thought that was a great add-on and something different than we've done in the past. Um, and if you miss Santa Claus is coming to town, you miss Santa Claus is coming to town. He came to town and with a vengeance. The kids in our neighborhood were running from corner to see if he can get to the next corner to catch him around the bend. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and then, of course, Carmen fed the staff um, at the luncheon, and I thought that was great. Did Lieutenant Bernard leave? Is he out there? Yeah, we need to recognize him. We need to recognize him. him, because if you don't know, we're losing our lieutenant and our captain, and um, I saw him standing there this whole time. Yeah, and we didn't get to go. He had to go, okay. Right. Well, we just wanted to recognize them and thank them for all they're doing, and we're looking forward to the new replacements coming in in January, so. Um, happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas. See you all next year if, if I don't see you sooner. And that's all I got, Mayor. Okay. I also attended the League of Cities uh, uh, dinner where Phyllis was sworn in or sworn at or something. Um, <laughs> um, and the pipeline meeting, the pipeline safety meeting that Duke hosts, which is a requirement for them every year, that was always very interesting. Um, and they did a good job of it. And then they bring uh, lunch for everybody to, to make it interesting for everyone to, to stick around the whole time. Um, and I also appreciated this, the holiday luncheon. That was fun with the staff. I did, as it has been already mentioned, tape a, a good bit of footage out at Alexander Island and here for a Spectrum News 13 uh, segment that should be edited and air sometime in the coming days. I didn't see it today, but uh, sometime in the coming days, I believe. They did a, a lot of footage, and I think it will be, should be a very nice piece. And I also want to wish to thank staff, particularly Parks and Rec, through this really demanding three weeks at the beginning of every January, and to note that they've added significant more responsibilities with adding the laser show at the tree lighting, the lights walk, 
Santa through the city. These are all things that this is only the second year we've held them. And the staff has done that willingly and put themselves out there. Um, and then we need to give them a break. They need a little time for themselves. They've been working days and nights, weeks on end, and I want them to know that we appreciate it, as well as all of the efforts of other staff members that have pitched in over this holiday season. It's, it's really a, a wonderful time for our community. So I, would, I too would like to wish every resident and family joy and peace throughout this season and into the new year. Merry Christmas. City Manager. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to follow up with the thank you to the staff, Jason and uh, Scheitz and, and uh, Delaney Lohman, but also uh, there are other staff that are involved with Public Works, um, was out extensively with uh, traffic control and, and at the tree lighting ceremony. Um, Amy Long, uh, also uh, not only the tree lighting ceremony and- Don't uh, give her away. I won't, I won't, but, uh, and uh, you know, so that, they all will play uh, the entire public, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Parks and Rec and, and the Public Works staff all participate uh, in all that. And it takes a lot of planning. Uh, and those, those, those planning meetings uh, start three, four months in advance. And it's just not Parks and Recs, it's coordinating the sheriff departments, uh, make sure we got control, it's the, bringing the buses in. It's, it's, uh, there's a just tremendous amount of coordination um, lights, uh, light companies, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's kudos to them uh, for all the planning that'd be done. Just a couple announcements. <coughs> One announcement, um, where our, our parking lot is uh, finally gonna get sealed and painted um, on, Jan on December 31st and January 1st. So if you plan on coming to City Hall uh, New Year's Eve and uh, New Year's Day, it's it's just uh, I was, uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> You're not going to mess it up. <laughs> um, and so it's going to be painted and 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 and, sh and striped at that particular time. Uh, we'll get our purple heart sh spaces there. Um, they will be bright purple. Um, so uh, when you see them, just don't uh, don't don't be surprised if you see one big parking or two parking spots that are fully bright purple. I uh, just want to let you know that I'm that I'm actually off tomorrow. Uh, so Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you and uh, Happy New Year and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you on the other side of Christmas. Thank you Mayor and Council. Uh, I, I can't tell you how much I enjoy working with you all and it's, a, it's such a great team and, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's just tremendous. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. City Attorney, do you have anything to report? City Attorney's Office thanks you for allowing us to serve you for another year, and we want to wish everyone a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and a delightful new year. And other than that, we have nothing else to report. Thank you. Hearing no additional business, we stand adjourned. <laughs>